Today we're going to look at how squats can improve our sex life and make it truly amazing. We're going to cover different variations and how they improve blood flow to where we need it to get harder, strengthen our pelvic floor so we can last longer, and increase our testosterone levels. Nothing gets your heart pumping like high rep squats. Anyone who's done a set of 20 plus repetitions knows it kicks your heart rate into high gear. And more importantly, it's pumping blood into our lower body. We see from this picture that the blood flows to our legs from the aorta into the common iliac artery. Now this is what we want to pay attention to. The offshoot of this artery is called an internal iliac artery. It's a branch off here that supplies our little chicken, turning it into a great big rooster. So how does this apply to squats? Well, off this iliac artery, blood is also supplied to the glutes, pelvic floor, and adductor muscles. Those are the muscles of our inner thigh. When we do squats, we pump blood into these areas, improving the flow to the entire region. This is only part of the benefits squats provide. They also strengthen these muscles, which does more than improve our thrusting ability. A strong pelvic floor keeps us erect longer. To illustrate how squats strengthen our pelvic floor, I'll reference a study done on children with incontinence. It found after a four-month squat-based pelvic floor rehabilitation program, they had strengthened their pelvic floor to the point that 86% of them no longer had incontinence. Granted, we're not children, but biomechanically we're built the same. How we squat makes a difference too. For example, a wide stance or sumo squat puts a greater emphasis on our adductors. Before starting any squat, we want to brace our core, which means tightening our abdomen, low back, and pelvic floor. Then once we've lowered down and we're ready to drive out of the bottom position, focus on tightening up your butt and pelvic floor as you return to the start. To get the most out of these squats, use a weight that brings you close to failure between 10 to 15 repetitions. Another exercise that's great for the adductors is a lateral lunge. This is an advanced variation that's good for people who want to be able to move more athletically. It's important you don't overstep or lean too far to the side as this will compromise your form. In a study published in 2019, they measured the leg muscle growth of the quads, hamstrings, glutes, and adductors on two groups of untrained men before and after 10 weeks of squats, with one group doing a full range of motion and the other only doing half squats. What I want to look at here is the growth of the glutes and the adductor muscles as they are the ones around the pelvic floor. It's probably no surprise that the full range of motion squats built more muscle than the half squats with a 6.2% increase in adductor muscle volume and a 6.7% increase in the glutes. When doing squats, we need to go deeper. For some guys, myself included, we don't have the mobility to complete an ass to grass squat, but there are some things we can do to improve the range of motion. One thing that works is to take a wider stance, like with a sumo squat. Another option is to elevate your heels. I typically use a couple of plates to elevate mine. What's most important here is that we don't go so low we let our low back round as this puts us at risk of injury. Tough to have sex with a low back injury. One variation of the squat that allows me to do a full range of motion is the band sissy squat. I like using a band because the resistance curve complements the movement as you're weaker at the beginning and stronger at the end where the band provides the most resistance. To make this exercise work, you need to start with enough resistance and far enough away from the anchor to hold yourself in position at the start, then push back and away, roughly in line with the bands. Whenever you do a heavy compound movement like squats, you'll get a spike in testosterone. But this isn't what we're after. We want a permanent increase in our resting T levels. To do this, we need to do regular resistance training, adding muscle to our legs and our whole bodies. This works exceptionally well for those who haven't been training for a while or are new to lifting. For more exercises to make your sex life even more amazing, watch this video next and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.